Hi everyone, I'm Jake, and I'm going to show you how to get started with metahumans inside of my VR body system. So first off, I'm just going to do it like straight out of the box with like the five different skeletal meshes. Ideally, in the future, you're going to want to merge all those together for performance and ease of use reasons. But there's plenty of tutorials and products that do that out there, so I'm not going to show you how to do that today. I'm just going to show you how to get get it running right out of the box. You just imported your metahuman. So I'm going to go to my character example blueprint. And for the base mesh, I'm going to set that to the body mesh of our metahuman. If it'll let me. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. And if you're on 5.1, like I am on this project, I don't think you'll need to do this with newer versions, but you'll need to assign the same skeleton that the body system uses to all of these. Like they all have the same like skeletal hierarchy, like they all use the Unreal Engine 5 skeleton, but they need to all be assigned to the same skeleton asset in 5.1. Otherwise, like animation blueprints and control rigs won't work together with different skeleton assets. I don't think you'll have to do it in newer versions, but I'm just going to go to the body, skeleton, assign skeleton, and do the SK mannequin from the VR body template directory. Accept, click OK. It's going to add new bones to that skeleton. It's fine for now. Um, and then I've included a copy pose animation blueprint. So any meshes that you child to this main mesh, you're going to want to give the copy pose blueprint to them. So I'm going to go over to Lexi's blueprint and copy her face, torso, legs, and feet. Paste them over in here and child them to the body mesh. And I'm also just going to set their transforms to zero relative to that. I'm going to give them all the copy pose animation blueprint. And then I'm going to go through and assign all of these the correct skeleton. Now, for some reason, it's not coming up with my skeletal mesh asset here. So I'll just do it from here. Browse to it, right click, assign skeleton, SK mannequin from the full body VR template. OK. Same with the torso, this hoodie, assign skeleton. OK. And then I think the legs and the feet don't have any new bones, so it should just do it. Yep. And again, you might not have to do this on newer versions. You'll just have to test and see. I haven't configured this project for like the mannequin blueprint. That's the only reason we're getting error messages. But now this should be all set up inside of here. These all have the copy pose animation blueprint. Now I'm going to go over to the skeletal mesh library because we need to measure this mesh in order for the system to calibrate properly and everything. So I'm going to go to the character measurements level. I'm going to select this character measurements blueprint and going to change the mesh in here to that body because that's what we're going to be using with the full with the full body animation blueprint. So if I change it to that, click change mesh, it'll change in the editor. But now you can see it's going to be hard to set the point of view and the top of the head without a point of view or the top of the head. So I'm just going to drag Lexi's blueprint in here. I'm going to just break every all the links that are causing the bad blueprint thing because I don't need to use this blueprint. And that should be good. There we go. I'm just going to orient her. I think if I just rotate her minus 90. And then I'm going to give her the default pose assignment, wherever that is. Oh, yeah. So for the body, I'm going to use an 
actually, I think I can select all these at the same time. Use animation asset, and we'll just do anim default pose like that. It'll kind of scale her re closely to the mannequin's height and proportions, and then we can select the character measurements blueprint again. Select the POV. Gonna set her, set it between the eyes and just in front of the skin. Then I'll set the top of her head. Save. I don't. Well, you don't need to save, but now if I click measure, I'm now gonna copy that structure, the SKM measurement structure, and add it to our library. So if I add a new array element and paste it onto that index. You can see it's our body skeletal mesh and all of these measurements it just took. So now, if we go to the demo level, I believe this should work. No, there's one more step we have to do. What did it say? Access none, trying to read property VR body blueprint. Did that get unassigned? Yeah, it did. Okay, so sometimes, I know this is, with 5.1, if you change the mesh, I think I changed the mesh before I assigned the new skeleton to it. So if you do that in 5.1, it'll take the animation blueprint off of it. That's all that happened. So I just reassigned it, and now we are a metahuman inside of here. I'm just gonna calibrate. And everything's working as expected. The mirror doesn't have five skeletal meshes. It's just copying the base one, so that's why it looks like that. But from my point of view, everything is working fine, and it should make it possible for you to use metahumans out of the box with your project. So that's just a really rudimentary way to get into it. Again, you should merge all the meshes together and then just set it up how you normally would with the system. But if you need to get started quickly, just do this. Thank you guys. Bye.